Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Sesame Street. I guess. Uh, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Place they from here? They can tell you how to get to, you know, bankruptcy though. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Sesame Place, which is the uh, Sesame Street theme park here in Pennsylvania. In, in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. And we're going to talk about the uh, Rosita controversy. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, they had a, what, a parade with uh, somebody dressed as Rosita. And the video went viral. Supposedly, Rosita was snubbing some black children. And now Sesame Place, Sesame Place, Sesame Street is being accused of racism. And so now there's a lawsuit or multiple lawsuits and Rosita is seemingly being banned from the park. They're getting rid of Rosita merchandise. This is overkill. It is, it is overkill. It had nothing to do with, you know, even if it is the case, and we'll, we'll talk about this, even if it was the case, if that uh, uh, performer was being racisty, even if it was the case, it's not Rosita's fault. Rosita did nothing wrong. No, you just find a different actor to play that character. Get another Rosita. Bada bing, bada boom. But uh, yeah, I got to wonder if this isn't going to bankrupt Sesame Place. We're going to talk about this before we get into it. Any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 274,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Uh, can you count to 274,000 count? I don't know if you can. Oh, 274,000. 274,000. Well, can you count to 25 million? Because that's yeah. what the family is suing Sesame Place for. $25 million. $25 million. Because, because the character didn't, didn't like hug their kids. Yeah, so we can show, I mean, this is only a couple, it's a nine second clip. Um, and I'm gonna be honest, I haven't done a deep dive into this. Everybody's seen this clip, but it's only nine seconds. And I've heard both sides of it. Some people said this isn't the first time that this Rosita... Oh, no, more people are doing class action suit now. Yeah, we want more people to jump in and, and do a class action suit. Um, but the official word from Sesame Place is what their their actors aren't allowed to hug kids, and this kid wanted a hug and not a high five. And Rosita's like, nah. -uh. So let's... But actually, she looked like she was saying no to somebody else and just kind of no, breezed over the kids. No, no, no. Nah, -uh, can't. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So then... That is a, a $25 million diss. Right. And then they're going to, you saw place said, well, hey, you know what? Okay, we're going to do some anti-racism training and all this other stuff. And we're going to do that to, you know, fix the problem. And the lawyer for the woman said, that's not enough. It's not, it doesn't do enough. 25, I'm sorry. I get, I get what you're upset about. I, I don't think you have a reason. I mean, I think you have a reason to be upset. Like if that is the case, I mean, I totally understand where you're coming from. I would be upset too. But $25 million is a bit much for something like this. A bit. I'm sorry. It, that's, that's ridiculous. You know what? Okay. So you know what would have happened back in the day? They would have said, geez, we're, we're sorry. Uh, here, have, have some free park passes and a hot dog. Right. And the thing is uh, now they're like $25 million. $25 million. And, then, and then as a result, they are removing... Rosita from a lot of like the restaurant that's her restaurant's not open yet. They said that there's not as much merchandise. She's not been seen in the parade. So let's get rid of uh, Latino representation, Latina representation. Um, there's like the one character from Mexico that's bilingual. Let's get rid of that character to appease another group. Why don't we just hire a different person to play the character? Yeah. So we have to give again, a hat tip to Bleeding Fool who, who uh, posted this and it comes from the Daily Mail, but here, here's what they said. Yeah. She hasn't been around much anymore. She's been taken off the parade entirely since the allegations. None of the characters walk the street in the parade anymore. So all the characters, none of the characters walk in well, the you parade. Know what? Like, how can they? Because as soon as another character accidentally, you know, doesn't hug every child on the parade route, then somebody else is going to yell it's an ism or it's a phobia and they're going to want $25 million too. How many times have we been in parades when the characters waved at a kid that wasn't our kid next to our kid and didn't wave at our kid? Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't want Elmo to tickle you in the wrong place. You know, but I'm just saying, I mean, because yeah. now every person is going to be like, oh, they didn't, they, I have to, you have to hug and high five every child on the parade route or somebody's going to get mad because, you know, three kids down might have been a, 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 you know, Hispanic child that got a high five and then a white kid might have got a high five, you know, across the street. And because you didn't, you know, high five every child that's other diversities along the way, you are a racist. I mean, I, I get there's an issue that fix the issue, but. They're not doing it in the right way. And $25 million. I'm sorry, but that's fucking ridiculous. $25 million. It's ridiculous. 
Uh, of course, you know, Disney, God, so stupid. Disney, uh, you know, never passes up an opportunity to one up the, the competition, even though Sesame Place is not competition. Sesame Place is a, a relatively small park. So this video is funny. Um, this family who happens to be black is yelling that they want to see Jesse. And um, the Woody character is trying to get Jesse's attention, and Jesse doesn't see it. So he finally, like, breaks the line of where he's supposed to be, he goes over and gets her so she can run over and make sure she hugs the kids. Because if she doesn't, they'll get sued because she didn't hug every child in the line that's not white. Oh, uh, my God. Actually, um, they usually hug kids. They usually don't hug kids in parade routes. Not normally. So, look, you know, again, I was not there. I'm just going by the nine-second Clip. We don't know what led up to. Other people it. said it happened to them too, and I'm not saying it didn't. Right, right. I mean, because it does look like they, like she is snubbing them, or he or she it could be he in the costume for all we know. It does seem that way. Don't and, assume Rosita's gender. And when you, yeah, pretty much. And when you see other videos people were coming out with, it seems to be this this character actor has been doing this a couple of times. So you need to replace the actor, right. not the character. Fire, fire the person playing Rosita. Get a new Rosita. Open the restaurant because again, I mean, this is a character that's been around for. I mean, Rosita wasn't around when. We were little, but she's been around a long time. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to get rid of your La Tinkerbell representation. Right, right. You know, you know, yeah, so they will. Because one person complained, and now everybody's complaining. And now they're getting sued. And the floodgates have opened because you you, 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 gate, you, you basically took her off the, the route and, and or bent in the knee in a way. And and now everybody's like trying to come at you. And now now no matter what, any character doesn't hug a certain kid. Yep. There's going to be claims of istophobia. So I just want to bring this up because I I mean I, I just think this whole thing is highly ironic that Sesame. It is highly ironic. Sesame Street, Sesame Street is being accused of being racist. Now Sesame Street was originally developed for underprivileged inner city kids who were predominantly uh, Latino, Hispanic, Black, uh, not white. Mm -hmm. Not white. In fact, this is the very first episode of Sesame Street. Because back then they didn't have a lot of access to preschool and stuff. Like a lot, even our yes. town, my town, where I grew up, didn't have that much. A lot of places didn't have the access to it. So they did this as a way for these kids to get a head start on school. It was like, you know, for every child, but it was to help these kids especially needed it. The very first episode, the very first thing you see in the very first episode of Sesame Street. It's white Street. kids, no. No, you don't see. You don't any, see any. The, no, very few. There are a couple. Um, Bob at the beginning it was Bob and Mr. Hooper were like the only two white guys. Uh, the whole episode is Gordon taking a, um, a little girl through and meeting everybody on Sesame Street. Sesame Street is and has been one of the most progressive, diverse shows. It always is. They always have a reason to put a new character in that's homeless or, <laughs> you know, some other identity something. Was, was. One, now, that's old school Sesame Street. Current year Sesame Street is very gentrified and it's it's for a bunch of progressive characters. It's for HBO Max. It's, it's to pimp for HBO right. Max. Right. They even you have, to, you have to pay for it You now. have to pay for it. They put Sesame Street, which was designed... For inner city well, underprivileged kids, in kids. need on PBS. Yeah, and they put it behind a paywall. You can still watch the old episodes, though. Look, you're like one of television's most famous gay couples. Oh, yeah. Right, Bernie, right. You know, but, I'm just like, you know, it's just like this come is on. ridiculous. And twenty five million dollars over this is just insane. I'm going to tell you a funny little story real quick, though. We were at Disneyland a few years ago, and this was back when that woman had done the barbecue grill thing, where she called the cops and the people grilling at the barbecue grills, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Oh, it's a white Karen." Well, and then there was lawsuits. So we were in uh, downtown Disney, down by the hotel, and there was a stage. And there was a stage there and that was closed off. It was roped off. You weren't supposed to be on it because it was for events. Well, these children were crawling all over it. And they happened to be black kids. No big deal. But they were crawling on it. The, the security guard was very polite, very nice. Asked them to stop. You know, no big deal. They weren't listening. They kept doing it. And then um, their parents we're sitting there watching the entire thing go down. They didn't tell their kids to not do it. No, they got their cell phones out and started taping the security guard to see if he'd say something or do something so they could they could scream about it on the internet and probably still do it. I'm not kidding, it, it, it totally happened. Yeah, I, I remember that. I was like, and he was like, it was like Willy Wonka. The guy's like, stop, don't stop. But he also knew you're a Disney employee, they've got cell phones, you're going to get... They were filming right in front of them. Yeah, you're going to get your ass kicked so on kids, Twitter or these whatever. These kids were allowed to do whatever they wanted, and the security, their parents weren't telling their kids. Like, I mean, there are a lot of parents out there. I don't care what color you are. Your kids are being little shits. They're going to say, stop oh, being a, a little shit. Not at um, Disney. 
Yeah, but, Not at Disney. <laughs> but these people, their answer was to get their phones out and start taping to see if the security guard did something that they could scream about on the internet. And I was like, oh my God, what the hell? And um, we left, we walked away, we were walking through, so we weren't staying. I don't know what happened afterwards. But I remember I was I was like, whoa, this is ridiculous. And I'm not saying that's what happened in this instance. They happened to just tape and tape and their kids went to pray. It wasn't like they were looking for an issue. But I'm just saying, you know, people, as soon as they get something on camera, they're like, money, money, with their fingers out. Like, you know, who, give me, give me cash. Yeah, and that's, cash. that's across the board. Now, what gets me about this, though, is that everybody's like, you know, with, with Sesame Place and Sesame Street, they built the park near Philadelphia. Um, Sesame Street was, again, designed for inner city kids. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you that is not the first black family that has ever visited Sesame Street. But if you go out to uh, theguardian.com, theme parks were not meant for black families. Why racism at Sesame Place is part oh, of it. Shameful tradition. Let's go back and Bullshit. watch. Bullshit. Can we go back and watch this first episode of Sesame well, Street? I want to have a comment. Oh, my too. God. Big Bird's horrifying. I want to have a I want to comment here on something too. Um, we were just at Disney World the end of June um, for a family thing, and there were a lot of people there that weren't white. There were a lot what? of people. There were a lot of people with different nationalities. No. A lot of people that were darker skinned. A lot of people that were black. There was a lot of people there that were not white people. There were a lot of white people there too. I'm not gonna say there weren't. But this whole idea that only theme parks are only for one type of person is absolute bullshit. When we grew up, when you would go to Kennywood or you go to Knobles, there's people all the time that were all different colors, weren't there? You didn't even, actually you didn't even pay attention to because you didn't I think never, to, you didn't think to look. When I was a kid, I never and you know, I used to go to Disneyland every summer too. And it's like I never I never paid attention to the Disneyland's the, the, very diverse. Disneyland, I would say even more so than Florida. I agree. Um but yeah, I never paid attention to it. It was just like it's crowded today. That's yeah, it. right. Because you didn't think any of it. You're just like, you know, you They're didn't like, even you didn't even look at people and see what, what race they were. I mean, you see these articles and you see all this, <sighs> and it's almost like it's like you're you're actually having the opposite. You're actually training people to be racist. Like now, people always think of other people in well, terms that's of their the race. Thing. We went know? to Disney a bazillion times, and I never even looked or thought to look. And this somebody was paying attention to it, and and it's just because of all the shit we deal with every day. It's starting to program people to notice that kind of stuff. Where like two years ago, three years ago, I wouldn't have noticed it at all. I'd have been like, okay, there's another family in front of us. So what? You know, mm -hmm. I, 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 and, and I just think it's stupid to say that it's a racism thing. God, it's just, it sucks that Sesame Street has always been so white. Mm -hmm. How Sesame dare they? Hashtag Sesame Street too. What I, I thought was hilarious when they, they're like, look, we finally have black Muppets on Sesame Street. I'm like, this is effing Sesame Street. They had Franklin, who uh -huh. was voiced by, uh, uh, I think it was Matt Robertson, who was the first Gordon. And uh, actually, he wasn't the first. There was a Gordon in the pilot. He was the second Gordon. But yeah, anyway, they they uh, uh, had a black Muppet, Franklin. They they took him off the show for whatever reason, and and then they brought these these other Muppets in, and they're like, oh, finally, Sesame Street's diverse. I'm like, where have you been? Where the hell have you been? Literally, it was designed for a diverse audience, like since day one. So of course, you know, I, I just think it's so freaking stupid. That is stupid. The thing is, is like. I'm not denying that this Rosita character didn't, you know, there's there's other videos of Rosita kind of, and it is a, that's like a double standard. I mean, if you see the different videos, I'm like, yeah. I mean, actually, Squid King told me about this, like when it happened, we were like, what the hell? That's bullshit, you know? And you look at some of the videos, it is kind of like, it does seem that way. It really does. But then you get rid of the Rosita actor, you don't, or you put them in a different position. You don't get rid of the entire character, the rep whole representation for some other group, just because one person's mad. And you don't, you sure as hell don't sue for $25 million because Rosita didn't hug your kids. Here's the thing. Sesame Place, uh, if I remember correctly, about 10, 15 years ago, they were on the verge of losing everything. I mean, it's not a big park. It's not Disney. And, you know, this uh, $25 million lawsuit, I mean, they'll settle. I'm sure they'll settle, but it, it'll absolutely, it could a absolutely drive them out of business. Well, because there was a so class action congr suit, too, congrats. on top of it. Yeah, and the thing is, and then because you're mad because the, the diverse character didn't hug your kids. But what I'm saying, the bigger picture is, at all theme parks, not just Sesame Place, is now it's going to be opening the floodgates that if a character happens to wave at one child but not wave at your child, then you're going to, if you happen to be a minority group, you can sit there and say racism. I guarantee there's other kids along the parade route of all different colors that she didn't stop and high five or wave at. Um, I'm sure that's the way all these parades. But now um, 
There's a double standard because now Jesse's running clear across the parade route just to make sure they don't get sued someplace else. Yeah, I, I accidentally punched a kid in a parade. He did. <laughs> So this is a true story. We we do a Christmas parade. Uh, Don't worry, the kid was white. The, yeah, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I was white too. I was a snowman. So we were doing this Christmas parade. Uh, our company was doing a Christmas parade, and all the employees were dressed up in costumes and stuff. And and I was the snowman. And she came up to get a hug. And I didn't know she was there because I could barely you could see. Barely how, see. I had to walk you down the street. Barely see out of the costume. Now I don't know how bad it was. I didn't hear any bones crunch. But my son said, hey, you elbowed this little girl who wanted a hug in the face. You elbowed her in the face. You felt bad. I think we gave her extra candy because we were giving out candy, yeah. too. But, but it was uh, an accident. I felt you really bad. See, you couldn't see And her. I didn't know until the parade was over because I couldn't, I couldn't see. And that's the thing, too. You don't know how much this, this character could see because they were like signaling to people that were further up. They're taller and further yeah. back. It could be that they didn't see the kids that are right there in front of them because they were talking to somebody else or they were giving a no-no to somebody else. Look, I don't know. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at the Trumpism of early Sesame Street. Uh, Oscar was orange. Oh, that's because they, they clearly were, 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 you know, swayed by Trump. Yeah, you know, uh, time machine Trump. Look at all the white people in Sesame Street. Oh my God, just nothing but white people. Nothing but white people in Sesame Street. I just, I just, you such know, a racist show. It just, <laughs> The whole situation is just getting out of hand on so many different levels. I mean, it's Sesame's place's reaction to it was, I think, too far. They like getting rid of Rosita entirely. That's, presentation that's is, is, is not okay. The family suing for twenty five million dollars is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> now you know. Now, like I said, they're not allowing characters off the float. Which I, at this point, I would agree with them on that. Even then, if they don't wave at every child that they think they should wave at, it's it's because of racism. So I think I think what they should do is just have get rid of all the characters, meet and greets, right? And they're going to do Rocco, and it's like, hey kid, you want to meet Rocco? Here you go. Thwomp in the head with Rocco. You want a rock? You get a rock. And you get a rock. And you get a rock. Just toss rocks at the kids. All the kids in the audience. Doesn't matter what color their skin is. Just throw rocks at them. And even if you, you <laughs> offer, and even if you offer diversity training and all this other crap, that's not enough. It and I think they said matter. that the Nobody person suing, the person suing, like, like Jesse Jackson's getting involved, I guess oh now God. and stuff. And I'm just like, oh, for heaven's sakes, I'm sure there were lots of kids on the parade route. She didn't wave at or hug. I'm sure it wasn't just those two girls. I'm not saying that, you know, I mean... Only 600 lights? Seriously. Look, she's telling somebody no, and then they're trying to hug. And I hug? Guess if it was a high five? That's what they said. They said they weren't allowed to hug on the parade route. Oh, I know why. Because she's she brought Baby Shark, the competition. Oh. She brought Baby Shark to the park. And, and I mean... they said, no, we're not. You don't get it. Look I don't those. blame the mom for being angry. I mean, I, I would be upset too. I'm not... No one's yeah, saying... Yeah. That they shouldn't, they have no right to be mad or upset. No one's saying that it didn't happen because you're seeing other videos and it does seem to be an a, a occurrence that happens more frequent than just, you know, coincidence. Right, right. No one's saying that. I think that, I, I, what I'm saying is, if I think they need to train a different actor, not, not get rid of the character, just train somebody else to be the character. And $25 million is stupid. Yeah, just, you know what's going to happen? They're not going to have characters in parades anymore permanently. Yeah, They're it's going to ruin it for everybody. And greets. I think Disney, I could totally see Disney being like... $25 million. Because they, they did it, it uh, during the pandemic. They got rid of the meet and greets and basically you had to wave to the characters. From cavalcades. From the cavalcades. But the next thing, they didn't wave at my child, so it's racism. Oh my God, Cinderella gave me the finger. So at this point, they're just going to just sit there and don't wave at anybody. Just look straight ahead. Oh wait, that's you looking straight ahead. That's offensive to people who aren't straight. I, I, I don't know. Again, we don't know the context of this, but from what I saw, it looked like it was like, nah, I can't pick you up. I, I don't know. Um, so anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Yep. So there you go, guys. So so you better flip your Rosita merch on, on eBay as fast as you can because mm -hmm. you're going to make some money. Wrapping it up, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.